What is seller financing, also known as owner financing, carrying paper, seller carry back, seller terms? These are concepts every attorney, accountant, and real estate broker should understand. Let's talk about equity. Equity is the value, the dollars stuck inside your home. Your equity is the value of your home, less any liens against it. So for instance, if you own your home free and clear, you've paid off your mortgage, then you have 100% equity. If your home is worth $300,000, then you have $300,000 in equity that you could potentially lend to a buyer the same way you could lend dollars out of your bank account to someone. If your home is worth $300,000 and you owe the bank $300,000, then you have no equity to lend. But if you're willing to leave your loan in place for just a little while, you can still come out way ahead, but there's only one way to do that 100% legally. Here's how a typical real estate transaction works. The buyer and seller come to an agreement, they open escrow, the buyer deposits their down payment and goes out and gets a bank loan. The bank is the beneficiary listed in the note and deed of trust documents and when the bank is happy with the buyer's signature, they will send a big pile of cash into escrow for benefit of the seller, escrow closes, the seller walks away with cash, the buyer ends up on title to the property, which being, is being used as collateral or security for the loan. Of course, the buyer starts making their monthly payments to the bank. Here's how a seller finance transaction works. Notice there is no third party. There are only two principals, the seller and the buyer. The buyer and seller reach an agreement. They open escrow. The buyer puts their money, their down payment, into escrow. The seller becomes the lender. They decide to become the bank by lending the buyer their equity. Notice they still end up with the same note and deed of trust. However, this time the seller is the beneficiary in the note and deed of trust documents. Escrow closes, the buyer ends up on title, the house is being used as collateral or security for the loan, and the buyer starts making their monthly payments to the lender, who was, of course, the seller. Here's another way to put it. Same property. We've got a family who wants to buy the property. We've got a seller, an owner will carry seller who has equity, who is willing to lend their equity to the buyer. The buyer sends their, their down payment to the seller and starts making their monthly payments to the seller according to the terms of a promissory note. Of course, if they don't keep their promise to pay, the seller has the right, according to the deed of trust, to take the property back as satisfaction for the loan. The buyer ends up on title with an owner's title policy. The seller gets a lender's title policy. The buyer is the named insured on the hazard insurance policy. The seller is the loss payee or mortgagee on the hazard insurance policy. Now, why would someone sell with owner financing? There are many powerful reasons. Number one, they want to sell quickly and easily for the highest possible price, regardless of market conditions. Number two, they want to defer capital gains. No one likes writing a big check to the IRS. Please see Internal Revenue Code 453 regarding the installment sale. Three, they want to create strong income for retirement secured by a property they are familiar with. Four, they want to leave a great inheritance for their children. Five, they know that if they or their heirs ever need money, that they can sell all or part of the note for cash. In summary, you can turn cash into property, you can turn property into paper, and you can turn paper back into cash again. For more information, visit notequeen.com where property meets paper. Have a great day. Bye-bye.